Hi, Dr. O here at Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, I want to show you a really neat trick on how to do an ice massage. And the great part is, all you need is a Dixie cup. So what you're going to do with the Dixie cup is fill it up and then place it in the freezer until frozen. And once it's frozen, you're just going to simply start to tear off the side right here. Well, don't rip it too much. Until you just more or less get the upper lip exposed. And the great part is now you have a nice handle to be able to really start to uh, treat areas, especially the wrist, elbow, and shoulder. So what I'm going to do is more or less take this ice cube and really start to go over any joint that you really want to give some ice to. So when I'm using the ice massage right here, what I generally do is put a little bit of pressure in there and then start to press into it more as it goes numb. So usually the progression as you're doing this, it will start to kind of burn and then go into a tingling sensation and then into a full numbness. Usually takes a couple minutes. Once it goes into a full numbness, what you can do is actually really start to press more in there to get a deeper massage and really help decrease the inflammation and massage those tight tendons that might be causing a lot of irritation. When you're applying ice, to any part of the skin, you really want to limit it to about five minutes at a time. So you're more welcome to really switch to a different area if you want, but it doesn't matter if you want to go circular with it or if you want to go across the joint with the muscle. You know, I think that um, some patients tell me that they get better results if they follow the muscle or if they do it in a circular motion. Experiment with it, see what results that you get and whichever gives you the best, follow up with it. So I'm just going to simply go there. Now I'm already <laughs> starting to make a mess. But it's just a really quick and easy way to be able to go in and really help decrease inflammation on a joint. And the great part is it's very cheap, it's very simple, and all you need a couple of Dixie Cups. So if you have any comments or questions, definitely leave them in the comments section below. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a like and give us a share. And I hope that uh, you'll watch our future videos that we'll be putting out. And other than that, thank you for watching.